What's up, YouTube? This is JP Panther back with a video. And today's video is actually um, a news uh, update video. Again, this is uh, something I saw pop up yesterday, and pretty much today is official, I guess. So, again, I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. So, again, this is going to be kind of quick. It's not going to be very, very long how everybody else does it on YouTube, stuff like that. So, supposedly, what happened, the Oscars ratings were really, really bad, like trash. And only like less than 10 million people watched it. And it was like 9.8 million. That's a huge, that's a bad, that's an all time low. And because I guess last year they said it was uh, 24 million and it's the lowest ever since. And they talk about all this other stuff, blah, blah, blah. A lot of, they said it's a lot of it's because it's woke. Again, this is the New York Times, this is the New York Post, so you gotta take it for granted. They talk about how woke it is and how they do this and that, which is a very huge factor into it. I think doing the whole social justice warrior political stuff over and over and over and bang it, uh, banging it over your head. And while people want to watch an award show, they kind of want to give you uh, a bunch of rich Hollywood people preaching and give you the middle finger pretty much. And I did see like something with Regina King. I saw a couple of clips, right? Where it was some old white lady, she was twerking and doing the butt or whatever it was. Then Chadwick Bozeman, I heard he got like screwed over and stuff like that. It's in Anthony Ho Ho Hopkins got it or something, the ward. Um the Judas in the Black is a Messiah guy. The dude plays Get Out. He won an award. The internal chick, she won an award. Uh, I just saw a couple of things here and there. Um, Tyler Perry won some award. Regina King, she says about like, you know, I know how, when you guys turn off the remote when Hollywood preaches at you. But you also got to realize and take it for granted. Like, listen, a lot of these Hollywood bastards have been acting like assholes during this whole time. Let's just keep it honest with you. When the whole lockdowns happened, when we had like... Uh, Gal Gadot and all these other actresses and actors singing Imagine and being so out of touch where people losing their jobs and dying from coronavirus. They were, you know, saying like Ellen DeGeneres, she said something about like being locked down. Uh, was it Madonna, one of those two, saying that being in my mansion is like being in prison. Again, they're very, very out of touch and socially out of touch. And they say a bunch of crap that they don't really mean and don't really care about. So again, the Oscars, they paying a price for it, you feel me? And it just shows you that people are getting tired of the bullshit. Let's just keep it honest with you guys, right? I mean, really, I'm sorry I cursed, but let's just keep it honest. Is that they're getting tired of all the BS. It's really, really sick of it because I seen it. I'm just, I seen clips of it. I'm like, dude, imagine why. Watching this for three hours. I know a lot of people who got mad with Chadwick Boseman, but again, the Oscars, uh, Hollywood's still racist. I don't care how much diversity they put on the screen and who gets nominated, doesn't get nominated. Hollywood's racist and sexist. You saw it with Harvey Weinstein. You saw all this other stuff. I mean, I don't know what makes y'all keep thinking that Hollywood's going to change or Oscars going to change. Like, no, they're going to let you know that we run this show and get the hell out. That's pretty much it. And the problem is they had all these movies I heard, never heard of. I, I didn't, There was a live action Pinocchio movie, which I never heard of. I didn't even care. And all these movies just look like I was not even interested in. Plus, a lot of the movies were closed. I don't even know there was a movie out. Only ones I knew was like Tenet, like New Mutants, Mulan, Wonder Woman, Demon Slayer. You know, it's like Demon Slayer came in later. But like, there was like barely any movies out. So I don't even know this stuff was even around. I'm really, and people were watching streaming and all that, but people didn't care. And also, it's a good middle finger to them because money talks, BS well. They're going to see, keep doing all this social justice warrior crap. They're going to keep doing this pandering, fake pandering crap. They don't care about any of these social political issues. You know, they, you could just tell. And also, they had something with the homelessness or something like that. I mean, I, Again, there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff with the whole Oscars and stuff like that. But I'm kind of happy that this is a good middle finger. It shows you that, you know, when it hits the pocketbook, they're going to act different. Disney which owns ABC, you better get your crap together. You better tell these actors and actresses, shut the hell up because you're messing up the money and you're messing up the bread and y'all keep your mouth shut. That's just what it is. You know, again, you know, they're in a business where you could talk that crap. If I was at my job, said any of the crap they do, everyday regular people will get fired. With them, they're in the same political bubble, so it's a lot different. But, you know, they're like, well, John, you talk like a conservative. I mean, listen, I have conservative views, like economically, uh, socially liberal, that's kind of who, who I am, if you want to know me, like, I guess the political realm, and I kind of vote on who I feel is the best candidate for that time, but overall, just to say is that, you know, the Oscars, it's just, like, it, again, it's been going trash, whatever, even, like, what, like, four years ago, or five years ago, when Trump got elected, whatever it is, it was just, I saw a majority of it, I was, like, it was literally just the Donald Trump bashing, uh, conservative, uh, 
platform, pretty much, show, pretty much. And that was pretty much the Oscars in, like, 2017, I remember. But, like, again, I saw, I was like, yo, they're going to lose money. They're going to lose viewership, whatever it is. But, again, it's the Oscars. It is what it is. Uh, hopefully, you know, them losing these, getting these type of numbers wakes them up. And I'm happy that an anime like Demon Slayer... If you guys don't know what Demon Slayer, it became the highest grossing film of 2020. Uh, you know, Hollywood and all of them are very scared because Japan doesn't play a lot of this bull crap they do in Hollywood. They're like, yeah, we're here to make money. We're here to put the product out. Blah, 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 blah. Where you have an anime movie like Demon Slayer, despite all this horror crap, horrible crap that's happening around the world, people will still die to go see a movie. They'll go in, as long as it's good, not some garbage that they put out on the Oscars and stuff like that. All these dark, depressing movies. And it just shows you that... When Demon Slayer was doing all that, I guess during the weekend, Oscars came out with this garbage, and it just kind of proved my point. You know, anime manga is also taking over. A lot of the nerdy stuff's taking over because Hollywood's running out of ideas. Because even all the uh, the crap on our Oscars, none of it makes money. So I don't know what they're trying to do. Like, oh well, we're here to do this and that and cinema and blah blah blah. And I'm like, first of all, you guys are very hypocritical because number one, you like, I want a billion dollars, but then you want to. A crappy golden trophy. So you got to pick one or the other. Do you want a billion dollars or do you want a golden trophy that no one gives a crap about? So again, that's just something they're gonna have to decide. And also, a lot of it is that you know the Oscars is just trash. It's not interesting. Uh, they're trying to get the young people. We don't care about it. And it's just what it is. You know, they're gonna have to deal with the L. They're gonna have to realize that they're super woke. It's just what it is. And people who want to watch it want to watch it. And the people who aren't watching it, like me, I ain't watching it. I just saw this pop up on social media, whatever. And um, I just saw the article pop up and I decided to talk about it because I know you guys want to kind of hear my thoughts about this kind of stuff and I was just like I'm not going to watch the Oscars just to give you an award give you a whole review about it and stuff like that but hey this popped up it is what it is uh let me know what you guys think did you guys watch the Oscars uh did you guys care about it I personally didn't care I was like this was trash it was boring I just got tired of watching these kind of award shows in general and also you have a pandemic also it was stupid as hell too it was like why would you do all this Oscar crap and have no one wear a mask and you know they nobody social distance at least one from the clips I saw like nobody social distance you feel me and I'm like nobody's wearing a mask no one's social distancing uh, everyone out there telling everyone else to do all the crap and they're not doing it. And it just seems like, uh, you know, they're very, very hypocritical and people just didn't want to deal with all that. And that's just the same thing with me. I'm like, why would I waste my Sunday night watching this garbage? You feel me? It's what it is. And you would think people being stuck at home and nothing to do and being locked up in their house, they would be watching this garbage. But no, they'll find something else to do. It's just what it is. And also probably is with the Oscars is so dated because... There's so much form. There's so much other forms of entertainment people could find that watching Oscars, maybe like 20, 30, 40 years ago, even yeah, like 20, 30, 40 years ago, it was different because you know you didn't have as much stuff to do, so you have to kind of watch something like this. But it is what it is. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Did you guys watch the Oscars? Did you not watch the Oscars? If you did, tell me how good or bad it was. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace and have a great day and take care. Make sure you all stay safe.